Hello there. While we are bashing each other with this coachy guy, I want to let you know that I finally could upgrade my PC. And the first recordings I made have no in-game sound. <laughs> because I had to enable the new audio device and I didn't know about that. Though some epic music will help. In this video I'm using Handmaids with a brand new Aristocrats legendary mod. Currently it is the second option damage wise and in general. Because in order to max your damage you need to have above 29k caps. 50% more damage and it is something to be happy with if you don't have bloodied. Chao junkies and other ones that have only temporal damage buffs or 25% boost instead of 50. Juggernaut is trash and should have the same damage buff as bloodied because it is hard to maintain your XP at max. Way harder than bloodied. Oh, I said XP, I mean HP, hit points. As for me, Berserker should be removed from the legendary mods and used as permanent damage buff. Less damage resistance you have, more damage you deal. The difference between the first star legendary mods is huge. And today actually I want to talk about the second star mods, because it is so clear with aristocrats. This video will be a versus between 25% faster fire rate and 25% more damage while aiming. So with no further ado, let's get started. Shall we? Okie dokie, here I have two roles. The first one is Aristocrats Faster Fire Raid with absolutely useless third start legendary mod. The idea is cool, the performance is garbage. Damage is 144 and Faster Fire Raid means more DPS. What about another role? Here it is. Let me equip it. More damage while aiming and the third mod is actually a good one. It does exactly what it says because I was using these webs like 50-50 and could track the condition loss. Same base damage, but let's check the difference in numbers. Here's the first guy. 118, right? Okay, one more. 117. Uh, here is more. Lower distance, more damage. Okay. 117. 117, 118. Well, just in case, let's try this guy as well. Let me be human. 121 and 75 at first. Oh my god, okay. Let's equip another weapon and try this while aiming. And while aiming, we have 123, 123. Okay, let's try another guy. Hello, mister. 120. Hmm. <laughs> okay. One more. Uh, here's some doggies, but it doesn't matter. Hello, sir. 126. <laughs> the buff from Adrenaline is included here, and as well, there is a visual glitch around. But no worries. We will see this as well. Out of all my runs here, the difference is between 5 and 10 points. Now it is 25% more damage only, and here you can see the second damage is way higher sometimes than the first one. As I understood, if you break an armor plate, your damage goes up. The damage between aiming downside and just pew pew is kinda the same. Probably the server doesn't know if you pressed the aiming button. Probably it is just a visual glitch. On PTS I remember how I got lower numbers while aiming than with no aiming. It was kinda funny, kinda not. <sighs> As for real damage buff it was around yes, additional 25 or 33%. But keep in mind that here I have adrenal reaction and other buffs. Okie dokie. Now let me show you something off topic but you can find it useful. Here I'm pressing insert card button aka e but it doesn't work i tried like five times and every time it said Meh. but if i try the keypad it works a week ago i inserted a nuclear keycard but couldn't nuke 
the card was there the whole time. Now pay attention to the damage I deal with no aiming 20 or 40 and with aiming 21 or 42. And it was like this the whole run. That makes me think that more damage while aiming works correctly. Oof, I'm in the hell, let's go to paradise. So more damage while aiming doesn't save you a lot of rounds. With mini hulks, none of them actually. Here's the same story. For in-game gameplay, this mod is garbage, because you want to use automatic receivers over non-automatic. And when it comes to who should first wins, you will be using VATS. For heavies, it's the same. For shotguns, you go VATS only because of way more damage. Pistols, pistols want a fix. I mean revolvers and this single shot shit. There are two options that Bethesda should look over. The first one is improving the number from 25 up to 50. Or the second one is removing this mod from legendary mod spool and make it a permanent buff. This is how players who aim can be at the same level as auto aim abusers. Like me, I'm talking about myself, of course. Even with 50% more damage while aiming, faster fire rate will overdo this mod in any stealth loaded build. For non-stealth it would be something helpful actually. But as for me, some legendary mods should go as permanent buffs. This one and Berserker of course. I tried to go Berserker non-stealth at low level. And the first mini ripped my legs clean off. <laughs> Of course, if you disagree with me or have something to add, the comment section is down below, every opinion on the subject is welcome. Speaking of aristocrats, as damage buff, I found it quite ok through my 8 hours playing the game and I did almost all important events daily ops. Hey Redstack, give me something interesting, bloody help me. Uh, aristocrats desk low. As I said before, my PC is upgraded and ready for everything. But scorched earth, <laughs> these people using pipe guns with a beam splitter and tons of lagging. I caused by this and other beautiful things. Anyways, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. It is almost 4 in the morning and in 5 hours I need to start working. Please help me with subbing my channel, in 3 weeks will be my birthday and it will be so nice to reach this goal of 1k subs. Okie dokie, I'll see you later.